Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your February read. Let's see uh, what we can expect now in the month of Feb of Capricorn and how you can use these messages to, well, best prepare for what's to come. Uh, of course, a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Capricorn, oh, magician, wonderful. Starting with the mag magician card. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords and the secret message from the universe. Ace of Pentacles. Well, money looks good, Capricorn. <laughs> money looks really good in uh, February from what I see. You are right now, as I'm doing the reading, I do see my Capricorn gang heavily in manifestation mode. Maybe you're manifesting a new beginning. Maybe you're manifesting new more money. Maybe in the recent past, you've already started the process of maybe sending out your resumes or talking to people or, you know, getting excited about forward movement or something. I do see in... Um, February with the seven of pentacles energy your money will be growing you are investing in you're not just manifesting you are investing in into your future uh, let's see now what else we can expect in Feb but starting with Lord Ganesha's message let's see what Lord Ganesha would like to bless you advise you with and then we'll start the reading so Lord Ganesha what do you have for my Capricorn gang please for February here it is positive outlook you get the card of positive outlook which is what i'm seeing you're doing anyway 29 look at lord ganesha here okay so 29 is let's see well, let's see what the message is 29.52, which says capricorn uh, how you feel depends on your own mental attitude. The many faces of Ganesha reflect how you feel about the different aspects of your life. Spirituality, health, finances, relationships and emotional well-being. It's important to remember that circumstances are neither good nor bad, but always neutral. It's how you approach the situation that will determine your outcome. If you choose to see something as depressing, it will be. If you choose to see it as encouraging, it will be. Your mind determines how your day will go. Your state of mind has influence over your body, your relationships, your emotional well-being and how you view your finances. Every day, we are so careful when considering what you will eat during that day. You have an opportunity to do, be just as discerning when it comes to how you think. You can conquer your moods, no matter how bad a mood you seem to be in. Make up your mind that you are not going to be controlled by your moods anymore. If you do find yourself in low disposition, take a moment to acknowledge what brought this up for you. Take positive action to shift back into happiness or being positive. Right. So if you are manifesting, if you are starting something new or trying to gather information or talk to people about maybe enhancing some aspect of your life, uh, Capricorn, do it with a positive outlook. Expect the best. OK, so let's see. I'm going to now start the reading with your current energy, which is the magician. Uh, why is the magician here? Spirit for Capricorn's current energy as I'm doing the reading. Why is the magician here? Emperor, this is this is what you want. This is what you are manifesting to take back power, take back control of your life. Be, you know, sitting on that emperor's chair and feel, I have my life in order, I have my world in order, I have my money in order. This is what you are manifesting. Good, that's a good manifestation to be in, Capricorn. What, uh, what happened in the recent past, Spirit? What's this eight of wands? What's the eight of wands? You transformed something, you ended something and this is like you something could have ended Capricorn in the recent past but it actually brought upon you a huge transformation to have a brand new life and yes I think you, you've done a great job because I seem to see you that you have all your ducks in a row, you've totally focused on your future, you have goals, you have ambitions which is great. Sometimes Sometimes when we start something or end something, 
uh, the new actually gives us uh, a little push to do better or be the best I would say <laughs> maybe you've been disappointed in the past but now you've been thinking about where you want to invest what what plants you want to grow in your garden of love or banks or finances or I don't know what yes there are you've been planning maybe you've been facing a few delays but I do see you still manifesting the best possible outcome for yourself so let's see what Feb February is going to bring for you then so spirit tell me what's the seven of pentacles again here uh, for um, February for Capricorn please you are setting down roots I do see the roots have already taken wheel of fortune yes the wheel is starting to move in your favor uh, Capricorn whatever you invested it in in the past whatever you were planning I had the seven of pentacles in your recent past as well right so whatever so seeds you've sown in the recent past you may not have it's like when you put a little seed in the ground it takes weeks months and you, you keep watering it and you feel nothing is happening but a lot is happening so you've been manifesting growth here which you probably haven't seen but in February I think it's finally catching roots it's finally you're going to be seeing growth happening and uh, yeah and then you'll feel yes the wheel of fortune <laughs> has started to move and it is going in your favor Capricorn wonderful finally movement in a positive direction for Capricorn in February congratulations anything else they can expect now in Feb page of pentacles goal oriented absolutely your planning is going to bear fruit slow and steady Capricorn you're winning the race it seems okay so now tell me spirit uh, what should they hold on to to make sure that they uh, achieve this growth and abundance and have the wheel of fortune moving in their favor what is it that Capricorn should hold on to in that position I have the page of wands keep the lines of communication open be excited about the future plan and uh, take those leaps of faith towards this new adventure of yours and yes communication could be a big thing as well page of wands page of wands ace of wands page of wands ace of wands come on Capricorn you are going to go towards a passionate brand new journey hold on to that feeling hold on to that dream of yours for this uh, new adventure of yours right uh, there is a brand new brand new exciting journey opening up for you be open to it with that childlike childlike excitement childlike innocence for a adventurous brand new start so what is it that they should uh, let go of then spirit what is it that Capricorn should let go of in February in that position Capricorn I have the seven of wands uh, maybe you feel a little defensive or you are uh, not wanting to allow too many people into your space or you're just being guarded with your energy not everyone who comes towards you is going to be bringing in bad things to you there are good people in this world as well so what spirit is saying don't be too closed off be open to new adventures new people new you know happy times or if somebody is inviting you out go out and talk to people don't be so guarded that uh, yes I, I do sense you've had some heartbreak in the past because otherwise the three of swords wouldn't be here right and your loved ones probably know about what you went through but uh, just don't get closed off because I feel the name of the game for you to succeed have this positive movement coming into your life will be uh, communication so leave leave room open for others to connect with you and you to connect back to them so seven of wands why, why should they let go of that hermit yeah see you've done enough of hermit time on your own and I, I don't have time I want to spend time with myself I think it's time this card came out reverse so it's time to get out of that hermit mode now Capricorn in February and start start being interactive make the effort and don't put guards and boundaries around yourself so what can become uh, Capricorn's biggest blockage spirit which they should avoid at all costs in that place I have the seven of cups confusion is that confusion spirit 
or is it too many options coming for Capricorn and they don't know what to choose what is the seven of cups why, why will that become a blockage Hierophant okay King of Wands I think what Spirit is trying to say they are sending you a lot of options uh, Capricorn but you may be a little mm, you may want to stick with what you know I don't know how to explain this to you but sometimes we get used to a certain thing a certain lifestyle a certain job a certain relationship and we are unwilling to budge right so what spirit is saying that we are sending you a lot of new options now embody the king of wands energy and you are capable the wheel of fortune is in your favor now you are now able and capable of um, not just sticking to what you know but in that king of wands energy you can travel you can do multiple projects you don't have to choose one thing you can try multiple you know businesses or projects and it's like time to uh, expand fly free start enjoying whatever the universe is bringing you so tell me spirit how will their loved ones be seeing them their parents their children people who really are love and adore my capricorn how will they be seeing my capricorn gang in the month of feb in that position i have the three of swords so i do believe they know that you've been through some pain some heartbreak but now wow now they're seeing you as very stable very stable maybe uh, very grounded energy feeling very secure in your uh, self let's see more eight of cups but you yeah you're walking away from heartbreak that's another thing that they see eight of cups is a person walking away turning their back moving towards finding their own happiness and stability leaving the three of three of uh, this person um, has had their heart broken maybe your friends family know that and uh, yes you're coming into a very safe and secure environment now in feb they'll be happy to see you happy that's all i can say okay so what's your secret message then spirit um, but before i open this card capricorn let me also take out an affirmation for you so you can have a beautiful feb so what sh what is the what's the affirmation spirit that capricorn should repeat to themselves now and whenever they remember to for february here it is communication oh my god i've got goosebumps now <laughs> i've been talking about communication throughout because there's going to be the key to your wheel of fortune moving in your favor and my angels have given the same card okay so the, your affirmation is i communicate clearly and honestly the angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest when you speak from your heart others feel the resonance of truth and trust you talk positively focus on the good in life and you will feel happier and healthier i think uh, even uh, lord ganesha said the same thing right positive outlook you can change your mood and you know ch change your thoughts to the positive communication is a two way process listen with interest and respond openly this will improve all relationships communicate constantly with source using prayer which is asking and meditation and which is also listening always keep channels of communication open be a bridge to others hearts and minds ask your angels to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way through you once again capricorn your affirmation is i communicate clearly and honestly i I, I get psyched even now when I do these readings and I mean there are so many one two three four decks and they all coming together to say the same thing wow okay so secret message from the universe spirit page of swords what's the page of swords why is this a secret message why is this a secret message from you ace of cups you're moving towards new happiness lot of love coming into your life uh 10 of wands okay two of swords and the 
and the nine of cups absolutely okay so capricorn from what i feel there is a new beginning coming for you maybe there's a lot of emotional happiness look at this flower opening up to the wonders of the universe right mm, if you can just let go of the 10 wands of the past yes you can you can reminisce you can learn the lessons from what you've been through but don't keep yourself stuck don't um, blindfold yourself and stay stuck in this past cycle it's time to now to just understand the lessons that you went through so that you can allow in the new this is going to be a good time to make all your wishes and dreams come to come true nine of cups is your energy which is one person who's allowing themselves to be happy to make their own dreams and wishes come true maybe some of you are starting new journeys starting new jobs new careers be mindful do read them uh, sometimes this card is also of signing documents or you know, there's a little warning to this be careful of course read the fine print and whatever but maybe this is just about learning as well yes you've learned your lesson from the past you can put those 10 wands down and you can choose a brand new chapter and universe is promising you the nine of cups which is you moving forward confidently to make all your dreams and wish remember you walked away from the eight cups which were empty now you're moving on to the nine cups which are full isn't that wonderful that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste capricorn